Hello my darlings and welcome. In this video, I design and create a set of two greeting cards for Lamas or Lunasa using watercolor and glitter watercolor paint and featuring harvest mice. Let's do some magical crafting. This month, I'm making a set of two cards for my patrons to celebrate the coming Lamas or Lunasa. Both designs will feature harvest mice, one with grain and one with poppy flowers and poppy seed pods. My process to create these cards is to divide a letter-sized piece of watercolor paper into two 4 by 6 inch squares and draw out my scenes with pencil. I leave the bottom inch or so of the card blank so that I can add a greeting. If you enjoy my watercolor and art witch content, kindly leave me a like on this video. And if you'd like to see how I set up my watercolor palette, I have a separate video on that process and I'll leave a link to it below. I'll also leave links to all of the materials I use in this project below as well. Doing image research for my Llamas greeting cards was a joy. I wanted to feature a cute animal on my cards, and a harvest mouse was my first choice. I was concerned that perhaps this little mouse might interfere with the farmer's first harvest of wheat or corn. So I did a little bit of research, and it seems as though, unlike some rodents, harvest mice don't eat enough to cause damage to crops. So farmers don't mind having these tiny rodents in their fields. The mice may even help farmers by eating insect pests. I also learned that harvest mice shred grasses by pulling them through their teeth, and then they use the strips to weave a hollow nest about the size of a tennis ball, which they secure to grass stems one to three feet above the ground, and this is where they raise their young. I trace over my pencil sketches with a waterproof micron pen. Once the designs are inked, it's time to go in with watercolor paints in the backgrounds. I'm filling in the wheat field and the blue sky first, and then I color in the harvest mice and the poppy seed pods and the poppy flowers. Lamas is a late summer harvest festival celebrated in early August. As the days get shorter, we celebrate the time of the early first harvest. The focus is on grains, corn, and bread but also the harvest of apples, pears, and berries, and all of the other early harvest crops. Lamas is a fire festival and a cross-quarter day. Lamas is also known as Lunasa for the Celtic god Lu. One of the most prominent gods in Irish mythology, Lu is associated with skill and mastery in multiple disciplines, including art and crafting. Lunasa is a grain festival begun by the god Lu to commemorate the death of his foster mother. She died of exhaustion after clearing the plains of Ireland for agriculture.
The next step is to add a layer of shimmer watercolor paint. I have a witchy friend who makes handcrafted shimmer, metallic, iridescent, and glitter watercolors. She created a Lamas or Lunasa inspired palette for me for the holiday. It includes a pearlescent wheat color and golds and rust glitter, blue, green, and other harvest inspired mica pigments. Her Etsy shop is called Scarlet Nymph. And while this is not a sponsored video, I do have a coupon code for 25% off in the description if you'd like to purchase this or any other watercolors from her Etsy shop. We're working together to create a paint palette for every holiday on the wheel of the year. The first step to using these handcrafted paints is to spray them with water and let them soften for a few minutes. Then dip a damp but not soaking wet paintbrush in so that the paint is quite thick on the brush. This way the maximum amount of pigment and shimmer is transferred to the paper. The paints in this llama set are all created with mica and so the paint can be used quite thin. They can be used diluted and sheer. Some of the other paint colors are created with larger pieces of glitter in them and those should be used at the consistency of maple syrup for best results. The paint needs to be thick because the glitter particles are so large. Once I was happy with the artwork, the next step was to scan the artwork and clean it up and color correct it in Photoshop. Then I set the cards up to be printed out in the center of a letter-sized piece of cardstock. I've decided to have several versions of each card. One will say Happy Lamas and Happy Lunasa, and I'll leave one of each version blank for writing in any sentiment. I will be making these cards available on Patreon. If you'd like to download a PDF of these printable cards, please visit Magical Crafting on Patreon at the link below the video. My patrons can download recipes, Book of Shadows pages, artwork, and more, all provided as PDFs, and I continue to add new downloadable content as I do more projects on the channel. The next step is to trim out the cards and fold them. I carefully line up the corners and edges and make sure the cards have a very sharp fold. I hope this video inspires you to create your own Llamas greeting cards. I'd love to become pen pals with my witchy viewers, and if you'd like to share holiday cards, I'll leave my address below. If you enjoy my watercolor and art witch content, don't forget to kindly leave me a like on this video.